Today is our second day in Copenhagen, Denmark. This trip is part of our 16-day Nordic adventure. Destinations will include Copenhagen, Denmark, Helsinki, Finland, Stockholm, Sweden, and Oslo, Norway. The Creative Meat Packing District is a revitalized industrial area known for its trendy dining scene and buzzing nightlife. We didn't notice any pickleball courts, but we did find some paddle courts. Keed Mosholm is an award-winning Danish sculptor. Nye Carlsberg Glypotech Gardens. These gardens are located in the back of the Glypotech Museum. The Troll That Smells Christian Blood is a bronze sculpture made by Niels Hansen Jacobsen, who died in 1941. Mother's Love by Constantine Meunier. The Nye Carlsberg Glyptotech, commonly known simply as Glyptotheca, is an art museum in Copenhagen. The monument by the sculptor Jens Galschuti in honor of Dante's death named Red Dante. The National Museum of Denmark in Copenhagen is Denmark's largest museum of cultural history. In the courtyard of Nye Vestergade I is a water feature with an antique statue. The building is from 1870. Christianborg Palace is a palace and government building in the inlet of Schlottholmen in central Copenhagen. It is a seat of the Danish Parliament, the Danish Prime Minister's Office, and the Supreme Court of Denmark. Also, several parts of the palace are used by the Danish monarch, including the royal reception rooms, the palace chapel, and the royal stables. Schlotzholm Kanalen in Copenhagen is the name of the part of the canal system around Schlotzholmen that is bounded by two bridges. The Thorvaldsen Museum is a single artist museum in Copenhagen dedicated to the art of Danish and Icelandic neoclassic sculptor Bertel Thorvaldsen. We explored Copenhagen from the water on a canal tour from Canal Tours Copenhagen. The tour took about one hour and it was a classic canal tour which passed by iconic sites and through narrow canals. It was informative and fun. The cost was about $25 per person. Now to the fun part. Today I woke up very early so I could choose the best captain in this firm and lucky for all of you and for me he was available. And his name is Nikolai! And I will tell you why this green kayak is special after the next bridge. To be continued. The yellow harbor buses take you up and down the harbor on a regular bus ticket and they run on electricity.
Inder Havensbrunn is a 180-meter-long bridge in Copenhagen. The bridge was opened in 2016, and it was a gift from A.P. Mulia. Right, we have the paper islands. We call it the paper island because all the printed medias in the 1950s stored all their papers to the newspapers over here. A couple of years ago, they decided to take down all the old buildings to build these tall constructions instead. The Copenhagen Opera House is a national opera house of Denmark and among the most modern opera houses in the whole world. It is also one of the most expensive opera houses ever built at a cost of $375 million. If you look close to the flagpole of on land, you will see a lot of cannons. And those cannons are still active, which means we are ready if Sweden comes. Bye. Actually, on a list, on a list of the most disappointing sightseeing attractions in the world. To the right, we have two pavilions. This is the Royal Pavilions. The Royal Pavilions, the two small pavilions on the quay in front of the Port Authority building, were built in 1905. They are used when the Royal Family crosses the harbor to board the Royal Yacht. Green Kayak is an environmental NGO that engages volunteers in the fight against environmental pollution while kayaking. Christian Haven, an area of small islands, is known for its hip cafe culture and canals lined with colorful houseboats. Hot spots include Copenhagen street food for international dining and Freetown Christiana, an alternative community of ramshackle houses, galleries, and music venues. The Church of Our Savior is a Baroque church in Copenhagen most famous for the external spiral winding staircase. The Circle Bridge was designed by a Danish Icelandic artist and recalls the shape of ships from years gone by. The design uses five masks and resembles a ship by the quay as a reference to Copenhagen's shipping history. Gamal Strand is a street and public square in central Copenhagen. Espresso houses everywhere, much like Starbucks in the U.S. Frederick's Church, popularly known as the Marble Church, for his Rococo architecture is an evangelical Lutheran church in Copenhagen. The Design Museum Denmark is a museum for Danish and international design and crafts. Castellet is a citadel located in Copenhagen. It is one of the best preserved fortresses in Northern Europe. It is constructed in the form of a pentagon with bastions at its corners.
Kastaus Mühlen, built in 1847, is a Dutch windmill. The mill was built as a grain mill and was in operation until 1903. The mill is functional and in operation a few times a year, just as it celebrates Cassellet's birthday every year on October 28th. This impressive and moving monument is a tranquil memorial to terrible conflicts. Created in three parts by Finn Reinbaugh, it was inaugurated in 2011. The Little Mermaid arguably one of Copenhagen's most iconic tourist attractions. The sculpture of the Little Mermaid was inspired by Hans Christian Andersen's famous fairy tale. <music> Efta Bedet, After the Bath, sculpted by Karl Arsleff, who passed away in 1918. The Giffian Fountain is a large fountain on the harbor front in Copenhagen. It features a large-scale group of oxen pulling a plow and being driven by the Norse goddess Giffian. Bernard Reeder was an artist, sculptor, etcher, engraver, and architect. <music> Street electric cart charging by Clever. Coffee break at Jack's Coffee with a bird visit. Esk MK National Gallery of Denmark. The National Gallery of Denmark is a Danish national gallery located in the center of Copenhagen. The King's Garden, Rosenberg Castle Gardens, is the oldest and most visited park in central Copenhagen. The Hercules Pavilion is a formal royal pavilion now operated as a cafe. Rosenberg Castle is a Renaissance castle located in Copenhagen. The castle was originally built as a country summer house in 1606. The Trinitatis Church is located in central Copenhagen. It is part of the 17th century Trinitatis Complex. The Round Tower is a 17th century tower in Copenhagen, one of the many architectural projects of Christian IV of Denmark. Built as an astronomical observatory, it is noted for its Esquarian staircase. Pope Magagad is a pedestrian shopping street in the old town of Copenhagen. Copenhagen Central Station is the main railway station in Copenhagen and the largest railway station in Denmark. With more than 100,000 travelers every day, it is the second busiest station in Denmark. In the heart of Copenhagen lies Tivoli Gardens, the world's second oldest amusement park. One of Copenhagen's main squares City Hall Square is in front of the City Hall. Would you 
like the answer? Hans Christian Andersen was a Danish author. He is best remembered for his literary fairy tales. War Pig's Brew Hub is a laid-back eatery for slow-cooked barbecue meats, hearty sides, and beers, plus patio seating. <laughs>